In this video, I'll cover the next block in the action sub palette, the sound block. I'll comment on its adjustments and on few of its applications. During the competition, you can hardly use the block because of the noise from the excitement around the tables, but it has few interesting applications. Today, I'll show you how to build a program that makes the robot say which color does it see. The most common application of the sound block I have seen is for the bugging cure program. Uh, you can put a sound block on specific place in your program in order to see what's actually happening and eventually fix your program. It's more convenient than the display block because you don't have to get down to see what's displayed. But now let's get back to the block. Uh, you can play a sound file with it, for instance, you, the, you can make the robot say fantastic. fantastic or you can play a tone and you can choose which tone to play and for how many seconds to play. Uh, then you can make the robot play the sound or stop the sound if it's playing a sound at that moment and you can control the volume of the sound. There is also an option to wait for competition or not. Uh, if it is checked, the program will go to the next block after the sound is played and if it's not, uh, the program will go on, to, on the next block and simultaneously with the next block will play the sound. Now let's make a simple program. Let's say that I'll wait until the robot uh, until the enter button of the robot is pressed and then the robot will say good job. Good job. Let's download the program to the brick. Now, when I press the orange button, the robot uh, should say good job. good job and it's working. Now let's make the robot say what color does it see. For this purpose, we will use the color sensor. It will return 1 if the color is black, 2 if the color is blue, 3 if the color is green, 4 if the color is yellow, 5 if the color is red and 6 if it's white. Then I'll use a switch block, choose uh, not flat view, value and I'll choose number. I'll add cases until we reach 6. Okay. So the default I'll leave blank and then if the value is 1 I will take a sound block and choose the sound black. Then I'll uh, and set the volume to 100. Then if it's 2, again I'll take sound block, make the volume 100 and choose sound blue. If it's 3, I'll set the sound to green. If it's 4, I'll set the sound to yellow okay if it's five I'll set the sound to red and if it's six I'll set the sound to white okay 
Okay, now all of this I'll put in a loop and then I'll download the program to see how it works. I'll use the book from the Masterrooms Education series and open it to the last page where there are uh, the colors and I'll show different colors to the color sensor. So yellow, red, green, blue, black and white. 